how do that, chums? I doff my cap. I'm loading up my expedition safe. So this is Pioneers, and we're entering into Phase 2. Heck yes, we are. You can see they're only about an hour and a half in. We've already completed Phase 1, which is the previous episode. If you haven't watched that, hit it up. It's in the top right corner. That way. I don't know. Freaking cameras. Right. Awesome. So here we go. Loading into Phase 2, and we've got some missions to run today, chums. Heck yes, we do. Right, so this is Rendezvous 1, where I am at right now. This is where we ended off last time. Heck yeah, some lovely giant colossal archive in the background. Hello there, people. Where's my avatar? Anyway, let's leg on up and let's go and interact with the map machine. Yes, it's probably got a different name. It's something like repository or something. Or, I don't know. Anyway, let's head on over to it. It's the one with the lovely animation with like a big map on it. This one here. Right, hello there. Oh, fudge. This guy got there before me. His eyebrows are in the way. I can't interact with the freaking screen. Ah, there we go. Ah, ha, ha. Local information repository. That's what it's called. Yeah, it doesn't roll off the tongue, does it? Map machine works a lot better. MM. Right, so I'm going to buy a map for 15 nanites. Now, these maps always give you a relic site. And guess what one of our badges are later? To visit a certain amount of these relic sites. Every time you come to one of these archives, be sure to hit on up one of those maps. Fly on over to the relic site. Now, I don't know whether that's it. I don't know whether that's actually managed to complete the milestone. So you know why you're here? Might as well dig up the free keys that are in these little lunchboxy type ones. You lock onto them looking at, it almost looks like one of the knowledge stone icons. Yes, you need free keys. Even though there's five in the ground, you can get the other two if you want. But I'm not only getting the free. I get the free keys and then we open up the big chest. And the big chest is going to have something that's worth usually quite a lot of units in. It's, it's quite pretty nice to be fair. So here we go, let's um, unlock this chest. Chicka pow, chicka boom, chicka pow pow. Done, dilly, done. Open up, box of normal almost awesomeness yes and we got we got ourselves what's that sculpted crab whatever that is lovely awesome we got that yes and it's worth quite a fair bit crab peg what the fudge is it okay fine whatever okay brilliant it's worth a lot of units anyway worth a fair amount and this early stage is worth a lot yeah so if i do sell those i might have enough to buy an a-class ship yes which i'm keeping my beady little eyes open for but i'm not overly waiting around you know now in the stations run around upgrade your exosuit just like you did in the first sort of phase and collect all the cubes and all the nanites and things that you see laying around and yeah Head on over to the Galactic Trade Terminals, either side, and see if there's anything there worth buying. Now, I buy the things that help me craft my warp fuel. So, the antimatter, the antimatter housing. So, ferrite dust, oxygen, chromatic metal, and condensed carbon, if you ever see condensed carbon, which is, would be a fine thing. You don't, you don't really see that. It's best to, as you're at a planet, shoot the heck out of the planet. I'm also buying a frigate. So, yes, why I'm also keeping my eye out for an A-class ship, I'm also looking for frigates, and I'm going for the lowest class possible, because yes you're gonna have to send them out on frigate missions they will level up in time anyway and they don't really care it's just to get the badge so here you go i'm just ending off a previous frigate mission make sure you do this each time you log in and see if it's actually completed its mission if you've got a timer or something maybe make a mental note or have a timer running on maybe the app on your frigate missions yes if you haven't got the no man's sky assistant app you can add timers in there for your plant growth and also frigate missions so it will alert you when things are ready or you can add in your settlement yes Get the app, it's freaking awesome. I'll put a link in the video description for the app. Anyhow, so yeah, I'm just inside of my freighter and I'm going to be sending out that frigate mission. So I've now got two frigates to send. I've got a mining vessel and I've also got a combat vessel. Now, I'm going to send them together because at the moment they're only one starers, so they're not going to be doing too much. So if I can see something like an all round mission where I can send both, I will send both. Yeah, awesome, brilliant. There we go. And away they go. So here we are. But the more frigate missions you do, the better, to be fair, because it's, it's probably the last one I. I popped when I did this first time around. Awesome. Right. Now I'm going to be calling in the Nexus. You do that from the quick menu. So you press down on your D-pad and you select the one that looks like a giant Death Star. Yes. Call in the actual Nexus and you can go and see a guy called Polo. He's a little geck up there and he will give you directions to a black hole, which is also a phase two badge that we need to pop. We need to venture through a black hole. But what I would say is make a mental note or write it down what system you was in before you went through the black hole. So maybe X Rendezvous 1 or whatever, where we just were, where that, you know, that giant colossal archive was. Write it down so you can jump back to that station because hopefully you hit up the station like we've been doing every single jump we do. We've been we're hitting up the stations. Yeah so you can jump back to your expedition path. Black holes take you miles away from your expedition path. 
Anyhow, this is Polo, and you talk to this little chap and ask for a black hole coordinate. Now, what I would say is it, you're going to have to do quite a fair few jumps normally to get to the black hole. So make sure you've got a lot of warp fuel for this part as well, chums. So make sure you've got all that crafting materials that I was on about. Inside the Nexus, you can also pick up this tube over here by the little tongue-flicking lizard person, Celine, and you can upgrade your exosuit again. Now, technically, every single jump that you do, and you do it in the station, you could call in the Nexus and then upgrade your exosuit again, and you could be far more advanced than I am right now when it comes to storage on your tech technology and cargo but it does use your units quite quickly which at the moment i'm saving my units to get an a-class ship so yes yeah, so i'm just unlocking a few different parts here so really what i really would like is to have a galactic trade terminal inside my freighter so i can sell stuff and also it's nice to have a teleporter to teleport to bases and you can also put them in your freighter so that's pretty darn sweet so i'm gonna get those two for now but what i really should invest in is some planter bays because we've got to farm something like 20 plants and i'm gonna put a farm on my freighter and so i'm just going to show you the page that you need to go to to get all the planting materials but what i would say is one of the quickest plants to grow is the one that gives you this sort of little gravitino ball so yeah i'm going to unlock these and i'm hopefully going to get that one because it grows relatively quickly but yeah awesome excellent eh Excellent, then next us and head into your galactic map and hopefully you're going to get the coordinates for the black hole and start your journey along to the black hole. Now, as I was doing this, I got hit up with a message. It popped up and it was a distress message from an individual on a planet and they were asking to, for me, my assistance. And yes, it actually brought up a settlement for me. So I figured, well, I might as well go and lock that in and go down and visit a settlement. Heck yes, why not have a settlement on the bank at the same time? Because settlements can give you resources and things and might help towards future badges, I'm not really sure. But at least it adds an extra thing that I can teleport back to if I need to on my, my portal list as well. So settlements are a new addition. They've got very little to do with the expedition, but you know what, it's free. So why not just fly down, pick up a settlement because it could be doing something ambulantly for you and this one look at that it's in a crater what a cool little confine that i found here pretty darn freaking epic and sweet now to get your actual settlement you have to go to the center sort of plinth uh, look you can see it there it looks like a little um well it looks different to each of the settlements well there's three different kinds but yes if you hit up the actual plaque there you can actually select to take ownership and become the settlement overseer. You're like the mayor of the town, if you like, or the sheriff, or something. Overseer, basically. So here we go, and you get to sort out some disputes, you get to greet new visitors and grow your settlement. And as you grow your settlement, it slowly gets out of debt, and then you start getting some materials that you can sell. They do also, they sometimes gain marketplaces, and they become quite an interesting place. So yes, why not take advantage of it? If it pops up, though, what I would say is it can take away your path to the black hole so you may have to go and see polo again and hit up black hole again but you know what i've got to go back up to the nexus anyway to buy some more of those little planter bays and the plants so why i'm here putting down my settlement because i needed to put my boots on ground anyway to go and get myself a load of stuff i needed to get a load of buried technology modules so i can go and buy those planter bays and the plants to put inside of the planter bays so there we go why i'm here i'm doubling up so yes if if you haven't already got the rocket man and you're inside like a, a big crevice like I was, you might have got to pop it there as well, because I was flying for about 20 seconds. Right, now I'm back inside of the station and I'm just heading over to the Galactic Trade Terminal to see if I can buy some resources that might help me in building out maybe the uh, Galactic Trade Terminal on my freighter, which I need like five microprocessors. There's a few other bits and bobs that I need as well. So I'm just picking up a few things. But yes, and also I might need the microprocessors to and get to be the overseer and stuff but here we go i've had to hit up polo and ask for the coordinates again to the black hole because it lost the path because i picked up a different mission and now i'm heading back over to the actual console the building console to get some more plants and also some planting bays and to, to, to really fill that one out because i got a load of buried tech while i was on that planet hopefully you've got more buried tech or salvage tech or whatever than what i've got so here we go let's head on over here and let's get to the actual panel i need it's a shame they don't put a big freaking number on 
these or what, which page they are or something. But there we go. I'm picking up these. So I've got my little individual planter bay. Now for you to get these out of the actual planter bays, you are going to need the hazmat gauntlets. You get that from Celine, the flicky tongue lizzie lady to the, my right at the moment. And yes, you can buy the blueprint for it. And to install it, you are going to need some resource. But we get to that towards the end of the video, people. I'm getting ahead of myself. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you a sort of shout out. That's where you buy it from. But here we go. That's, um, that's where you get the blueprint. So lovely jubbly. It may even be a reward on badges, but it hasn't popped for me at the moment. But there we go. And so grab all those. And uh, yeah, you can see that I got the one that gives you the Gravitino balls. So yes, that's that, that's a very important one. And another one that I think is quite good to have is maybe the Mordite root. It's easy to plant, but it takes a fair bit of time to grow. Longer than the actual um, Gravitino ball plant anyway. So awesome, back out to the galactic map and it's locked back in my black hole. There's my black hole and I'm jumping towards the black hole. Excellent, eh? And once you actually go through the black hole, it will break any of your tech that you've got in your general space of your ship. So anything you don't want to break in your ship, make sure you put it into the technology area of your ship or else it will have the chance of getting busted when you go through a black hole. Now. Like I said before, make a mental note of the station to jump back to from the black hole because this takes you quite a distance. And I've popped the milestone of Event Horizon, which will give you all 16 glyphs for firing up portals. Not that we really need them, but we do want to pop all the badges to complete this expedition. Right, well, I did summon in my freighter here. I was thinking about far putting all the farming trays in, but then I realised, ah, I haven't got all the materials that I need for all those planting trays. So yeah, you may have to jump into the station. I like to jump into every station, like I say, get all the nav data, get all the nanites, check out the galactic trade terminals, see if there's anything you can buy to help you put out those planted trays, and see if there's anything in there to maybe build those Gravitino hosts, because yeah, you need magnetized ferrite, which sometimes you can find up here, sometimes not. But yes, grab a load of that, excellent. You also get magnetized ferrite sometimes for shooting pirates, so if you have encountered a lot of freighters and you've been killing those pirates, hooray for you if you've been picking up those canisters, because maybe you've got the magnetized ferrite you need. Right, now that I'm through the black hole, before I teleport back to my known area of space and back on the expedition path, because a lot of people are already on the expedition path, I figured I'd do a couple of jumps away from the black hole area to see if I could get a system that nobody else has discovered. First contact. And I'm going to pop another badge for that. I guess! Take advantage of being in unknown space before you warp back. Haha! <laughs> Brilliant! So that's another badge that I can tick off my list. Tick! Done to the done! And I'm heading back into the station. Again, I'm hitting up everything in the station before I actually teleport. And now I'm going to pick the system beforehand, which was Asavak Waxen, the Jackson, that one over there. That's going to take me back to Rendezvous 1 sort of area of space and back on the expedition path. Lovely jubbly. Done to the done. And I am back in that station. And now I'm just picking up a few commodities there. I could see there's chromatic metal for sale. Ha! That's awesome. That really does help for making my anti matter brilliant and also installing the the uh, red drive the cadmium drive very important because we're going to go visit a red star as well chums so yes here we go let's go back to the galactic map and i'm on the expedition path but i can see here that it's locked onto a yellow star not a red star so if i just unlock by pressing circle i've got free roam and now I can pick my red star. So I'm just going to pick there and go there. Now I do need to install two types of scanner into my ship. But I'm going to wait until I've got a better ship before I start putting tech into it and really investing in this one. Yes, I've given this a couple of storage augments, but nothing major. And I did that just to help me shoot planets and gather resources. So yeah, this ship I want to get rid of as soon as possible. And if I can see an A-class ship and purchase the A-class ship, that would be perfect around about now. Awesome. There we go. Red skies. Done. That's another one that I've managed to pop. Let's call in my freighter into the system. Now, calling in a freighter also encourages ships to land in your freighter. We'll see if we can get an A-class to land inside my freighter, shall we? Awesome. That'd be pretty nice, wouldn't it? But uh, you can get them in the station. However, red systems sometimes don't have stations like this one doesn't right now. So I can't go into a station to get a ship and I, c I haven't got the scanner to get to a trading post. So I'm going to call in my freighter, which may encourage ships to land. Heck yes! Right, oh, so brilliant. Now, like I say, I've been buying frigates as well. I've only bought one frigate so far, but I do want to get some more frigates maybe in the next sort of phase because we've got to sort of think ahead about that frigate mission running. I don't want it to be the last one to pop again, but it might be. And because we've only got two weeks to do this, I want to get that, that done as quick as possible because that could be the one that makes you a bit... 
a bit panicky. Anyhow, let's head on up and let's build out some more trays. Ah, and so hopefully we've got some ships landing in here as well. You know what, let's just put the trays in first. Let's get rid of some of the stuff that I'm carrying on my person and hopefully get all that done. So when I say build out the trays, and what I'm on about is the planting trays that we got all the blueprints for, but I haven't set aside an area in my freighter. So at the back here, you've got all this space. Now, you could build it here, but what I would say is delete a load of stuff in here because it's going to give you all the materials you need for those gravitino balls and some of the trays. When I delete these, look, I'm getting loads of silver, I'm getting tritium, I'm, I'm getting all the stuff I need, <laughs> need to do all sorts with. And if you delete these as well, you're going to get some extra bits and bobs. So just delete out all the stuff you don't need. And I don't need this vast space, so I'm just going to delete all this, also, all these decoration -y bits as well. Be careful you don't delete the room that you're standing in. Sometimes that can cause you to get stuck in a wall, or sometimes even fall out your freighter. It's in the patch notes that they've fixed that. That, but just be careful <laughs> and just be warned because sometimes what's in the patch notes isn't what happens in reality so here we go i'm just going to delete out these extra rooms to the side as well i don't think i need all that space i mean i only need 20 trays in here some 20 tra planter trays and now i should have some of the resources to put those trays in so you find those under here there we go and there's my actual planter tray well hyperponic tray yeah that's a bit of a mouthful isn't it so i'm going to stick those in and then i'm going to be putting in the gravitino host plants which is going to be pretty darn freaking sweet and so i need a load of metal plating there now i used ferrite to make those i should have gone and put in my galactic trade terminal first and then bought the actual metal plating Scorbo era. Right, okay, so here we go. Let's put in some of these. And you can see here they get power automatically from your freighter, which is cool, so you don't have to wire them all in, which is awesome. And now I can put in some of these. So I can't actually do that many at the moment because I haven't got enough materials for the actual trays. So yeah, I could go and install that um, you know, Galactic Tray Terminal in a bit and hopefully buy some materials. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Or I can use my actual portable refiner and hopefully craft a few bits. So I think I'm low on the condensed carbon at the moment. So let's put some carbon in. Righto. Okay, well, here we go. Let's put that into there. Hold on, that's my condensed carbon. I didn't want to put the condensed carbon in. <laughs> that's what I need. All right, well, let's delete it. Oh, and it's giving me carbon back. Okay, brilliant. Okay, well, it's, I think that's actually... No, I did need normal carbon, didn't I? Awesome. Let's uh, put these down then. Brilliant. Cool. Yeah, there we are. I've got a bit more carbon. I can put down a couple. Yeah, so it's normal carbon, metal plate in it, and pure ferrite that you need for the trays. And then for the actual um, plants themselves, so the Gravitino hosts, you do need chromatic metal, silver, and magnetized ferrite. But yeah, there's ways and means of getting all this stuff. It's like if you've got some dirty bronze, you can turn that into silver. Or you can just go shoot a load of asteroids to get your silver. There's a few things that turn into silver. Um, but yeah, sometimes when your freighters, or your frigates, sorry, come back from missions, they give you things that you can spin into silver. And yes, shooting a, lo a load of the uh, planets. When you're shooting the planets and shooting all the rocks on the planets, you get geodes. And when you break them down, sometimes they give you magnetized ferrite as well. So make sure you're shooting the planets quite a lot before you take off each time. Fill your infantry up on your ship. It only takes a couple of minutes just before you head on off. And that's what I've been doing in between to keep all my base elements stacked to the freaking nines. Awesome. So here we go. And if you haven't got the metal plating, rather than use your ferrite, buy the metal plating to make your actual freight, your actual planter trays. Right. Awesome. So that's great. Now, at this point, I just need to make a quick save. So I'm just going to jump in my ship and out of my ship to make that quick save. Heck yes. Because, yeah, I'm doing this quite often, making little auto saves. Just do it just in case there is a crash. I know it's a lot more stable, but just for peace of mind. Heck yes. Well, there was no ships flying into that freighter, so we'll try that again later when we go back to plant some more plants. But for now, I'm just flying down to the actual planet to Rendezvous 2. And before I get to Rendezvous 2, I'm just stocking up on some resources again by shooting the heck out of the actual planet and crashing into a lot of things and wrecking my shields of my ship at the moment by the looks of things. Yes, a lot of these, these plants on this planet, for whatever reason, aren't all just destructible, so I have to aim at the bushes in between the trees, which isn't the easiest planet to actually harvest carbon from. Right, so now we've done Rendezvous 2. Awesome, that's Rendezvous 2. Done. Victory is mine. Heck yes, I can pop that badge. Lovely job. So you can see that I've only got one badge left to pop in Phase 2, and that one is for all the planting and farming. 
Yeah, so I'm going to need to install those hazmat gloves at some stage. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to start harvesting the plants that we grow in our freighter. However, we haven't got 20 plants up in our freighter as yet. So I do need to grab all of those materials that I mentioned earlier to get that done. All right, so a lot of shooting planets, a lot of crafting materials, a lot of shooting trees and getting the carbon. So yeah, let's get that done, I guess. Awesome. Take that tree. Tree. <laughs> Dark tree. I need your carbony carbon nest. Lovely. Awesome. Right, so now that I'm at Rendezvous 2, what am I going to do? I'm going up to the map machine. Yes, that infantry repository, whatever, who's it, this thing. Yes, go in here and I'm going to buy the map for 15 nanites. And that's going to give me the location to the ruin site. And once I get to the ruin site, you've got it. I'm going to dig up three keys, three keys, and open the big chest. Heck yes, I am. So here we go. And oh, no, I've, I've just skipped the bit of getting the keys. Here's the chest. Let's see what I get. Is it going to be yellow? Is it going to be awesome? Or is it going to be complete cash? Let's have a look what I got. Uh, oh, <laughs> I forgot silica powder for a second. No, I've got something there. I've got some archivey type stuff, but it's it's not like a high value item. If it was, it would be yellow, and you you'd know because it's like well loads. And here we go. There's an A-class ship inside of my freighter this time that I've called it in, people. And it's a lovely little barrel nose fighter. I love the barrel nose fighters. Yeah, right, yeah. I'm gonna buy your little ship. It's also got my mum's name in there with Stella. Yeah. Awesome. Stella Skylark. So I'm going to buy this. Heck yes, I am. Now, you can just upgrade your own ship to an A-Class if you really want to, but that's going to take a lot of nanites. No, I'd rather just buy one. And I know I could have bought cheaper, but I liked this one because it's got my mum's name. And it's also a lovely barrel nose fighter, and everybody knows how much I like a barrel nose. Once you've got an A-Class ship, though, chums, and you collect the reward for the A-Class ship, look what you get. You get given an S-Class class ship brilliant and it's got quite a lot of storage it's um actual warp well it's um it's hyperdrive range is bigger because it's a an explorer so it's going to help you get to the next rendezvous and all sorts so what i'm going to do is delete a lot of the tech in the other ships move it all into that s class ship yeah and uh, reinstall the cadmium drive inside of the uh, new ship that I just got. But yeah, a lot of to in and fro in from different inventories, moving things around to make that ship more awesome. I'm also sticking stuff that I, I don't want in my exosuit into my freighter because I've got a lot of storage on the freighter that I don't need to worry about too much. And I'm also crafting, again, the metal plate and I should have bought it from the Galactic Trade Terminal. Yes, I know I've made the same mistake freaking twice, but I did just buy that ship and I haven't got a lot of units now. Right, so I'm putting down a lot more of these hyperponic trays. Yes, let's use the correct name, why not? And I'm needing to get myself some more magnetized ferrite to put in the plants. So you saw there I was changing, changing pure ferrite into magnetized ferrite. And yes, it's just a case of having to juggle things to get where you want. I'm also going back in and buying a few extra plants. So yes, now I can murdicate some creatures and put in some more diet. Also, if you feed creatures, they then lay giant brown chocolate eggs known as feesium and yeah, it's actually poo it's, it's creature poo it's not it's not eggs but it's not nice knowing that you're picking up poo so yeah it's nice chocolatey eggs anyhow pick up all of that and then you can spin that into mordite using your nutrient processor which you should have picked up as a reward so here we go put on some music for murder <laughs> You can see that a little bit of medication and a little bit of converting creature pill into mordite. And that mordite I can use to plant my mordite plants up inside of my freighter. Heck yes I can, but they don't grow as fast as the gravitino hosts. And I'm growing the gravitino hosts because I'm hoping to have enough gravitino balls to sell and pop the jackpot badge of the 5 billion million units or however many zeros that freaking is because maths just isn't me. And yes, where I landed, because I'm trying to land at places where the 
they've always got those little waypoint sort of markers I hopefully going to be scoring on that one as well for a latter badge now a lot of the stuff that I got from Murdication I don't actually need because it's not going to help me plant the plants so I'm creating food items so there we go I'm making simple meat stew mystery meat stews and you can sell those to Kronos up inside of the Nexus and he will give you nanites but you can only turn them in one at a time and it's like watching freaking paint dry yes it is so up to you if you want to do that stage anyhow hazmat gauntlets are now needed to harvest my plants and i've got plants in every single tray and i've got 20 up here people so here we go let's install the hazmat gauntlets you can see there i am going to need chromatic metal and i'm also going to need the sodium yes but it's a level two like sodium so i'm going to have to go into here and i'm going to have to refine normal sodium into like the level two like sodium yes here we go let's put that into there and um, there's my sodium so if i put that into there kaboom and i'm going to get that one lovely sodium nitrate that's level two isn't it brilliant got my sodium nitrate and i can use that now to make my hazmat gauntlet so i can pick these plants heck yes awesome i only need 20 so i may as well stop that lovely jubbly and grab a mondo yes and i can take this with me so let's pick that up Boom. come with me and uh, yes hazmat gauntlets are now working brilliant i can now pick the feisty little plants brilliant lovely one two three four five six seven we need 28 brilliant nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15 over there 16 and 17 you can see there my mordite haven't actually grown yet 18 19 20 you know what i might as well get 21 22 23 and 24 so i've got 24 of those gravitino balls now you can pick up gravitino balls at the relic sites as well there's usually one there but it does trigger the old sentinels and they get angry right so we've now completed phase two but you know what let's go and sell those gravitino balls and pop that other badge for the jackpot so yeah we'll get one extra badge why the fudge not so here we go let's let's see if it works brilliant galactic trade terminal and i want to sell and i want to sell all of my gravitino balls where are you gravitino balls boom sell all of those and boom we're done we hit the jackpot heck yes we hit the jackpot boom lovely jubbly heck yes now that's quite cool because when i pop these badges you watch all these rewards pop up so here we go i got the farmer reward lovely and that's phase two pretty done but i'm going to claim the phase two rewards so we've got all these building parts all the legacy ones all the lovely bits lovely jubbly thank you very much awesome now let's hit on up another badge and let's pop that so the phase two rewards we may as well claim that one mind me while we're on this screen boom yes i'd have that oh new multi-tool i won't say no thank you very much yes i'll take that multi-tool as a secondary lovely little experimental pistol i like that very very nice right and uh, we've got one more so let's go back over to the expedition page and it's all the way over here in phase five and we've got the jackpot heck yes now you can do that from the storm crystals i think if the storm crystals in this one i can't really remember but there we go people that's everything for you guys out there in the view of us i hope you've enjoyed this i guess yeah I'll see you guys next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again hold on it's still freaking going <laughs> look at this we get loads of stuff oh it's just blueprints though it's just the blueprints for these things but you know what there we are people i think that really is the end now goodbye bye bye well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.